Uh, I saw some other hands. Oh, sinners, huh? Did you raise your hand? You sin? Uh, as long as it's not too personal, what type of sin you commit? Um, I still judge. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, uh, you just like your mother? Yeah, for sure. Why don't you overcome it? Why haven't you overcome it? Um, I don't know. I started watching some of your podcasts about the forgiving your father and your mother. And, right. And, um... I don't know if I'm too literal, but I just, it's, it's, it's something difficult for me. Um, I, don't, I don't know my father, but my mom. You don't I, know your father? I met him one time. That's amazing. Yeah. And when you ask about him, what do they say about him? She never said anything <clears throat> bad about him. Why have you gone and met him again? Um, he's not a very... Uh, I don't really know what the word to use, but it was, when I met him one time, we almost got in a fight. So. And why? If I'm just to try and think, why, on, on my end, I just wanted to see him. Um, but on his end, I guess if I was just taking a guess, maybe it was the way I showed up all of a sudden into his life. And did you attack him when you first showed up? No. What did you do? I was just kind of in awe. Like he was, uh, he was kind of like yelling at me and... You know, asking me, like, am I looking for some dad or, you know. How old were you? I was 18. Oh. Yeah. So. Well, you should go back and forgive him. Yeah. I, I mean, I watch your show. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I watch church. Are you going to do it? I know I need to, but um, I'm a little hesitant, I guess. I'm not you, ready quite yet. Why not? I'm not sure. I will encourage you to do it. Otherwise, you may end up with a partner. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, why haven't you done it? What's that? Why? Ha what are you afraid of? Why are you? Why are you holding back? Um, I don't. I'm not very good at explaining, or um, like when you say it, I can understand how when you're saying it, I can understand how that works. But then for me to take that and go do it, it kind of becomes cloudy for me, or I don't. So it's hard to go and say, "Hey, I'm sorry for holding grudges against you." I'm wrong. I guess I could do that. That's yeah. all it takes. Yeah. I mean, I'm probably overthinking it a little bit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you haven't done it with your mother or father? No. And why not your mother? Um, she is, uh, I mean, I've always been a mama's boy, right? She's she, amazing. I know. And Maybe that, I'm just like my mama. <laughs> She's never satisfied. <laughs> Um, what does it feel like to be a mama's boy? That's all I know. I don't know any different. I mean, it feels uh, she was always very protective over me. Um, we were really close when I was younger. We're not very close right now. Why not? Uh, she uses drugs. She uses drugs? Yeah. Oh, okay. And I used to use drugs. So. Oh. Yeah. Do you want to overcome being a mama's boy? Yeah, for sure. Well, then you got to face her. Yeah. Because you have her nature inside of you. You're not yourself. Yeah. You're her. And if you ever date, or, are you married? Yeah. You're married? Yeah. You're married? Yeah. <laughs> you married? How old are you? Um, 41. And so, you have any kids? No, but my wife has a kid. You married a woman with children? Yeah. What's, oh, you mama's boy, all right. Yeah. <laughs> now she got two. Yeah. You and her other son. Yeah, I can see what you're saying. I mean, your other child. I don't know if it's a boy or girl. Yeah. Um, that did didn't she, really make sense to me until I started watching some of your shows. I see what you're saying. Though. And what does she say about you being a mama's boy? She doesn't say that. She, doesn't, she, from her perspective, doesn't think I'm a mama's boy. What does she think about you? She thinks I'm uh, a strong man. Why does she think that? Maybe because she's confused. Like, because I've... So like I overcame drugs, um, I never, I had my first job when I was 37, I've always been a criminal and, and was into drugs and all that kind of stuff and I overcame that, went to recovery and uh, I don't hang around any of those people anymore, like I, I, I got real focused on changing my life, so I think she takes that as like I'm a strong man. Oh, I see. Yeah. But your life I think, really—I don't, did, I don't know. You know. Your life really didn't change. You just went from one drug to another one. <coughs> because yeah. if your life had changed, you could face your mother and father. You wouldn't have fear. I think I could face them. I'm just overthinking it. 
kind of. Uh-huh. I'm making it more complicated, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Well, I encourage you to go and forgive them. Yeah. And don't, don't plan it. Just go and do it. Don't plan what you're going to say and how you're going to act. Wait and see. Because Satan will use that against you. Yeah. I hear you always talk about how you have to forgive your father and your mother. Right. So if you're resenting like anybody, do you have to go forgive them? If yes. You don't person, have to go. Is, well, see, the beauty about this, once you forgive your parents, especially your father, you're going to return to your father. And, and that spirit of anger or hatred would be taken away from you and it'll be done. Okay. And salvation is return to the Father. That's why God said there will come a day when I return the children to the fathers and the fathers to the children. Because in that father's state, they're in the nature of their mother, which is the nature of Satan. And so once you forgive the mother and who have turned you away from your father most of the time, you will forgive your father for holding that against him in that moment. Because loving your father just means don't hate him. It's impossible to love God and hate your father. And so the moment you forgive your earthly father, you're free. So just worry about forgiving those two. Don't worry about forgiving maybe somebody else that I'm resenting. Do that first. And then that'll oh, yeah, take care of that. Yeah, don't think about that. that'll take care if of that. If that needs to happen, it'll, it'll happen. Okay. And yeah. then my next question is. Because if I had to go and forgive people that I offended when I was in the fallen state, I'd still be out there forgiving. <laughs> I'd be down in Alabama. I'd be up in Chicago. I'd be everywhere. But no, it's done. Yeah. Okay, and then um, when I got married, I married for the wrong reasons. And so I feel like I'm kind of not knowing what to do with that. You don't know what to do with it? Yeah. Do you want to leave her? I think so. You do? Yeah. I tell Mary to be quiet. Mary, get off the phone and be quiet. Her to rest kicking in. That's my friend. She has to rest. <laughs> and so, uh, so you want to leave her. Why do you want to leave? How long have you been married again? Like six months. Six months? Oh, that's cheap. A <laughs> No, no. Uh, why do you want to leave? Because um, I feel like I did it for the wrong reasons. Like I was forcing. I, I thought I needed to be with somebody and I needed a family and she already had a daughter. It was like an instant family. I thought I wanted to be a dad. And uh, like I'm still going through all these changes kind of. Uh, yeah. yeah, I understand that. And only six months, right? Yeah. What do you recommend he do? Me? Uh-huh. Let him talk and speak into the mic. This is so good, isn't it good? I'm having a hoop daddy of a time. <laughs> This is, this is church. I realize that church is not learning the teaching of God or Christ or whatever you want. It's discovering him. It's remembering what you already knew. It's fellowshipping like this. You examine yourself and you remember you already knew him. But people that teach you are screwing you up. But when you have to discover from within, you've been made whole. But go ahead. That, that's a hard, that's a hard He'd one. He'd been married six months. He married a woman with a child already. He thought he would have a family right away. He changing. He realized he got married for all the wrong reasons. And he wanted to know what should he, what would you recommend? Uh, you got to stick with it, I guess. I don't, I don't, there's nothing I can really recommend. Really? Yeah. I'm glad you didn't meet him on the street. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hard one. Chanel, what would you recommend? <laughs> um, tough one. Never been in that situation before. Um, I've I've seen God restore marriages, and I believe since you're already in a a covenant, because before God, marriage is a serious thing, and so and He hates divorce. But um, it's not a covenant. He did it for the wrong reason. He didn't really mean it. He was just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think it's it's an internal an internal issue that I think you have to overcome, and perhaps through that God will give you the grace to um, to be the husband to your wife. That's uh, the oh, best okay. I can do. <laughs> okay, Victoria, what would you recommend? I, and, and then I'll I'll wind it down, folks. I am wind it down. You got my word back there. What would you recommend to this? He met you down the road. You looked all holy. 
He told you this situation. I've been with a woman six months. I realized I'm married for the wrong reason. She already has a child. What would you recommend for me? You would say. Speak no, to the mic for me. I'm being dramatic. <laughs> you feel I was, horrible? I, said, I feel horrible, but I'm like, no, I'm just being dramatic. Uh, I would tell him to 86 that thing because... 86? Get rid of it. Oh, that means get rid of oh. Kill it. <laughs> oh, okay. But the only reason I would say it is because he has already realized he did it for the wrong reasons. Yeah. I don't know how they can recover from that. Right. So. Okay. What would you recommend in the back? Yeah. Uh-huh. The young lady behind you, uh, oh, you need the mic. I think you should apologize to the wife and the daughter and just let them know that he was wrong for whatever he did um, and just get out of that situation. Amazing. Yeah. And the last one, what would you recommend? You had your hand for this? What would you recommend? Uh, it, a few months after finding you, I was in kind of the same spot, but I wasn't married and she didn't have a kid. But it was coming coming out of a cloud, yeah. And uh, as crazy as it sounded, it was the right thing. And tell her, this is I, I'm with you for the wrong reasons. I realize I don't know why I'm even with you, and it would just be bad for you. And I can see I'm already kind of making you worse. Yeah. And just walk away. And if it's meant to be, you'll come back to her. Yeah, the young lady is absolutely right. I would leave it. It's only six months. She has a child, and you shouldn't be with her anyway because the child needs her. The father's not around, and so the child needs their own parent. Hey. The, the, the daughter... Uh, Come here with the microphone. <laughs> oh, this is tough. <laughs> so uh, her father, the child and their father committed suicide. The child and, father did? Yeah. And, uh, There's all more than reason you should get and out of the way. And she's calling me dad and it, I, it doesn't feel I, like I don't like it. And right. I feel bad that I don't like it, but yeah. I don't want her to call me dad. Right. You know? Yeah, I would take my wife and talk to her and say, look, I made a mistake here. Uh, I should not have done this. And realizing now I don't want to be married. I definitely don't want to be married with a woman with children. I'm not your child's father. And I apologize. As the young lady said, I was wrong. I'm sorry. And especially six months. Uh, I don't think they can take your stuff at six months, right? <laughs> she has more than I have. Oh, good. Yeah. We're telling her she can have everything and hit the road. But I think it's a blessing that you can see it now before the daughter really get into you and she gets into you and all that. Well, it all started happening at this t time that I was, like I was changing and I was yeah. seeing some of your videos and um, like, yeah, I did marry her as like a, a mother figure in a sense. Yeah. You know, she's completely the opposite of my mom, but uh, I can see that. I can see how that works. Yeah, you know, well, apologize to her and go your way. Yeah. She may not like it, but she'll appreciate it in the long run. That's yeah, hard, though. What now? I said it's hard. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. But to, you got to do the right thing. It's not right that you even stay with her knowing you don't want to be with her. You're going to be miserable. You're going to leave eventually. And so it's best to do it now while it's still new. And well, most, I, I keep getting caught up thinking like my thoughts are tricking me or what, you know. Well, don't listen to any thoughts about it. Every thought is a lie. Yeah, but the, so like when you say that, that you can see how this is complicated then, right? Cause if you doubt every thought, it wouldn't be complicated. It would not be complicated at all. Just don't believe anything the thought says well, about Well, I'm, I'm trying to doubt these thoughts, and so then I'm thinking that maybe the, the thoughts of me wanting to not... That, the thoughts that I have, the thoughts that I have of feeling like I married for the wrong reasons are incorrect. Like those are wrong. Yeah, don't believe your thoughts about anything. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And if you're not sure what to do, do nothing at this point. Wait until you can see clearly what to do. All right. All right.